Buenos días, buenas tardes y buenas noches. <laughs> ¿Cómo están ustedes? How are you, class? Nice to see you. Even though I can't see you. <laughs> are you ready for another Spanish lesson? So here's a notebook of someone who wrote out los verbos ser y estar, right? Yo soy, tú eres, él es, right? Etc., etc. And yo estoy, tú estás. I think you can notice those verbs. And then over here is a map of Latin America or places where Spanish is spoken. You can notice this map, right? The red on this map shows the Spanish speaking countries. And you'll notice the red stretches into America, right? Like Florida and California and Texas, right? These areas. That's because a lot of people in these places also can speak Spanish, okay? Um, and if you're curious, this is the flag of Colombia and this is the flag of Spain. Ben vendidos, bien vendidos. That means welcome in Spanish. So, welcome to another Spanish class. Let's start. All right, 今天要做什么呢? Right, I want to review, as I already started to, los verbos ser y estar, right, ser y estar, como siempre, right, we're always reviewing these two verbs, and um, what else, uh, <laughs> right, I want to review some timing uh, huh? pronouns, and uh, what else, we have a couple of worksheets, a song, and three dialogues, actually, right? Three dialogues. Let's get started. Okay, let's review the, per the pronouns, okay? Uh, please say it with me. Yo, tú, él, ella, or usted. Right? Remember, usted is like nin in Spanish. Now, Fushu, nosotros, ustedes, ellos, ellas. Okay, so uh, please practice saying these, right, and pl practice writing them too. All right, and el verbo ser, right, I think you remember it. <laughs> um, let's just say it one more time. Yo soy. Tú eres. Él, ella, o usted es. Nosotros somos. Ustedes son. These are the conjugations for the verb to be, right? Ser in español. Also, please practice making sentences with these verb conjugations, right? So, um, Tú eres mi amigo. <laughs> you are my friend. Okay. Él es Taiwanés, right? He is Taiwanese. Okay, something like that. Practice making sentences with these verb conjugations. If you're not done or you need more practice, please press pause, right? Shen an zhan ting ha. By the way, these flags, this is the flag of Peru, right? Mi lu de guo qi, ha. Hao xi ban ya guo qi, ge lun bi ya guo qi, ha. All right, so once again, just for review, let's say the verb estar, right? El verbo estar con los conjugaciones. Gan zhen yan. Yo estoy. Tu estás. El ella o usted está. Nosotros estamos. Ellos, ellas o ustedes están. Please practice making sentences with the verb estar, right? Like, um, yo estoy muy feliz, right? Something like that, okay? Or, estamos en casa. Right, nosotros estamos en casa. We are at home. Okay, something like that. Please practice that with all um, five conjugations of the, el verbo estar. Right, 动词变化, 
verb conjugations 动词变化 Okay, I just wanted to remind you if you're not done <laughs> or you don't understand, please press pause or stop and review. Right, those verbos ser and estar. Okay, maybe you need more time. If you are done and you're ready to go on, I think you remember this worksheet from last week. Right, this is the worksheet I asked you to do last week, and we will check our answers today. Okay, so、um, please find this worksheet if you printed it out, or if you just want to look at the screen, that's okay too. Right, you can look at the screen, and、um, let's do this together. I'll read the answers and show you the answers. Okay, we'll talk about a few things together regarding this worksheet. Okay, very good. Um, by the way, it wouldn't hurt to review the vocabulary from this worksheet. Let's just say the vocabulary words one time. Chingi men kento wo nian hao le. Guapo, autobus, parada, novia. And by the way, novio is boyfriend. Novia, novio. Cuarto, ahora. Vacaciones, compañero, and a female companion is compañera. Okay, if it's a female classmate or partner. Okay, so let's read these ten sentences together and check your answers. Gansanian, de dónde están los niños? Sorry, dónde están los niños? Where are the kids? Right. Nosotros estamos En la parada de autobuses, nosotros estamos en la parada de autobuses. Tú eres guapo. You are handsome. <laughs> nosotros somos compañeros. Tú estás de vacaciones. You are on vacation. Yo soy Taiwanese. I'm Taiwanese, right? ¿Qué hora es? Son las nueve y cuarto, right? What time is it? It's nine fifteen. I'll read that again. ¿Qué hora es? Son las nueve y cuarto, right? When you're telling the time, you always use el verbo. Ser, right? How debate? Nosotros estamos en la clase ahora. Nosotros estamos en la clase ahora. Right? We are in class now. Yo estoy en Nueva Taipei. Yo estoy en Nueva Taipei. I am in New Taipei City. Mi novia es taiwanesa. Mi novia es taiwanesa. Okay. All right. That's just a review. I think we reviewed this last week, but just wanted to give you a quick review. By the way, the worksheet is available at this website. You can go here to the bottom of the page and download the worksheet if you haven't already. So just for fun. Uh, I thought we can look at a map. Again, I like to look at maps, and、um, this shows a lot of Spanish-speaking countries.、Um, let's check it out. The Spanish-speaking country that's closest to Mexico,、uh, to the United States, is Mexico, right? Mexico. A lot of Mexican people live in the USA because it's so close; it's easy for them to move there. Also, Cuba is very close to the USA too, but there's some water here, so they have to take a boat, right? I think they can take planes now, but before they had to go by boat, right, from Cuba to the United States, usually into Florida first.、Uh, what are there some other Spanish-speaking countries you should know about, right? Like Argentina, right? Argentina, Argentina, right? Uh, and many Central American countries that were our Bangjiao Guo before, maybe some still like Honduras, Nicaragua, 
El Salvador, Guatemala, right? These places, Panama, right? You can uh, learn more about these countries by searching on the internet. Some interesting things. So why do all these countries speak Spanish? Right, we've talked about this before, and I think you already know, because they were all colonies of Spain, right? Xibanya, the Jiming Di, huh? All right. Okay, frases, right? Frases. These are some phrases we should learn that are all very useful. By the way, if you have a friend who you study who you study Spanish with, um, 你可以賴那個朋友,就是打電話給他,然後一起念這些,it's uh, uh, more fun with a partner, but let's say them together now, 復習一下,Hola, huh? como estas, right, that's informal, right, so maybe your classmate or your friend, como estas, but for a formal situation, or maybe uh, if you're speaking up to somebody, like maybe to a teacher or the principal, you can say, Como esta usted? Como esta usted? Right? Nin hao ma? Right? Nin ha usted? Zalai. Sama hui dana. Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Gracias is xie xie, huh? thank you. Como te llamas? Como te llamas? Right, we learned that the first week. Y tu, como te llamas? What's your name? Right. Or if it's formal, right, if you're asking maybe a police officer or a teacher, you can use usted, right, nin, ha. Huh? Como se llama usted? Como se llama usted? Right, what's your name? So notice it's a little bit different, okay? Here we use se instead of te, and it's yama instead of yamas, right? You didn't nan ha, you didn't nan ha, right? That's okay. Man man lai ha, xian gan zhen nian zhu hao le ha. Me yamo kong ge ha, xin jiang chu zi ji de ming zi ha. Me yamo Eddie, me yamo Eddie, okay? Hen gao xing ren zi ni. Encantado, or if you're a girl, you say encantada. So I would press pause and practice saying these phrases, right? These are all very basic and very useful. Okay. So, uh, 先按暂停,再念一次这些句子。还有一些片语,请跟着念。Por Por favor. Por favor. Gracias. Gracias. De nada. De nada. Sí. No. Disculpe. Disculpe. Perdón. Perdón. Lo siento. Lo siento, right? Debuchi, huh? Lo siento. Adios. Adios. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. No hablo español bien. Or no hablo español, right? I don't speak Spanish. No hablo español. Hablas inglés? Do you speak English? Hablas inglés? Or if you're talking to a teacher or a police officer or somebody, you can say, Habla usted inglés? Habla usted inglés? ¿Hay alguien que habla inglés? ¿Hay alguien que habla inglés? Right, is there anyone who can speak English here? Okay. Ayuda! Ayuda. Buenos dias. Hayo Jiju. Buenas tardes. Buenas noches. 
Buenas noches. No entiendo. No entiendo. This is really important, right? Ting right? No entiendo. 最重要的, ¿Dónde está el baño? ¿Dónde está el baño? Right? ¿Dónde está el baño? Okay, that's the most important sentence you need to learn. ¿Dónde está el baño? Y wenju. Okay, um, if you're not clear on these, please press pause and review. Hola, Mauricio. Hola, Amy. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. ¿Y tú? Muy bien. How do you say hello to someone in Spanish? Hola. Hola. Make sure that you repeat the word after Mauricio. Let's try again. Hola. Hola. Hola is the most common greeting in Spanish. Usually when two people meet, they'll ask how each other is. You can ask how someone is in Spanish by saying, ¿Cómo estás? Okay, quick review. El verbo gustar, right? Me gusta. Gustar, to like or to be pleasing to, right? A ti, ¿qué te gusta? Right, what do you like? ¿Qué te gusta? How fill in the blank. A mí me gusta pizza. Or a mí me gusta comer pizza. I like to eat pizza. O a mí me gusta libros. I like books. Or a mí me gusta la música. I like music. Or a mí me gusta comer fruta. I like to eat fruit. So how about you? ¿Qué te gusta? ¿Qué te gusta? What do you like? Or what is pleasing to you? Ni shi huan ha? So try to use this phrase. A mí me gusta... You've already learned some nouns and some verbs. So try to use either a noun or a verb here, right? For example, me gusta pizza. I like pizza or a mí me gusta comer pizza, right? Either a noun or a verb and a noun together in this space here. Okay? How do you ha? A mí me gusta mi país, right? I like my country. A mí me gusta tomar café. Right? I like to drink coffee. Remember the verb tomar. That can mean either to drink or to take. Right? To drink or to take. How just A mí me gusta tomar café. A ti te gusta la clase de español. A ti te gusta. La clase de español. Do you remember what this sentence means? <laughs> Can you guess? So what is la clase? The class, right? De español. What's that mean? Spanish, right? And te gusta. You like, right? So you like Spanish class, right? A ti te gusta la clase de español. Chiesalai. A él le gusta comer fruta. A él le gusta comer fruta. So do you remember what comer is? To eat, right? So he, él is he. He likes what? To eat fruit. A él le gusta comer fruta. How do A nosotros nos gusta. Comer pizza. A nosotros nos gusta comer pizza. Right? We like to eat pizza. Soy A ellos les gusta beber leche. A ellos les gusta beber leche. Right? They like to drink milk or drinking milk is pleasing to them. So I know this is very difficult, right? Using two verbs in one sentence, right? 
sometimes, right? Like gustar and tomar, or gustar and comer, or gustar and beber, right? These are all sentences with two verbs, so it's a little bit difficult. So you probably need to review at this point. So, um, uh, 我建议, huh? 如果你觉得这边有一点复杂, huh? 请你们先按暂停, 然后复习一下, huh? 复习一下. All right, do you remember how to count 1 to 20? <laughs> Quick review, right? 稍微复习一下. 好,一起唱, uh, 一起念好了. <laughs> Uno, dos, tres, Cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, diecisiete, dieciocho, diecinueve, veinte. All right, so maybe at this point you want to stop the recording and practice saying this a few times. If it's easy for you, then you can go on. If it's easy for you, let's do 20 to 100. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Um, let's go 20 to 30 first, right? 20, 21, 22, 23. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Can you do 30 to 40? Let's try it. Do you remember? 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay, so that's 30 to 40, right? We haven't done that before, I don't think. Oh, yes, we did. We did to 50 one time. So let's keep going. But first, let's say 40, 50 to 100, right? 40. So from 40 to 50, remember, it's the same, right? 41, 42, 43, dang dang. Until you get to 50, right? 50, 50. 50. And then 50 to 60 is the same, right? 51, 52, 53, dang dang. Okay, keep going like that. And then what? 60, 60, 六十, 60. And it's the same thing, right? 61, 62, right? 61, 62, dang dang, right? And then 70 is. 70, right? And 71, 61, 62, dang dang, okay? And then 80 is 80, 80. And 90 is 90 y 100, okay? So, <laughs> you can practice any of these. Like maybe you just want to practice 60 to 70, right? 六十到七十, huh? 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, what's next? 6, 67, 68, 69, 60, right? So you can practice. Test yourself. You don't have to write out all the words, but um, practice saying them, okay? So maybe... Um, I don't know, in one day, you can just pick like 50 to 70, right? 50 to 60, right? Or 80 to 90, right? 80 to 90, something like that, okay? You'll get used to it. So um, that's a new goal. I didn't do that last semester, but I hope this semester we can count to 100 in Spanish, <laughs> okay? 加油!
All right, we do need to review some colors. Los colores, colores. Cancenien, rojo, rojo. Azul, azul. Amarillo, amarillo. Rosa, rosa. Verde, verde. Violeta, violeta. Gris, gris. Marrón, marrón. Naranja, naranja. Blanco, blanco. Negro, negro. Right, remember in Spanish the ends of words changes, the ends of words change as necessary. So, um, right, if something's white that is feminine, you say it is blanca, right, blanca. La camisa blanca, the white shirt, right, camisa blanca. Okay, or if it's a, if it's a black shirt, you say la camisa negra. Okay, so remember some of these, um, the last letter changes according to whether or not it is a masculine or feminine noun. Please press pause and practice saying these colors again. Do you want me to read them for you? We'll say them one time. Rojo, azul, amarillo, rosa, verde, violeta, gris, marrón, naranja, blanco, negro. All right, one more quick thing and then we can listen to a song. Okay. Uno rojo. Uno y rojo. Red one, right? Uno y amarillo. Amarillo. Yellow, right? Cero azul. Cero azul. Ocho verde. Ocho, verde, right? Eight, green, okay? Seis, verde. Seis, verde. Dos, azul. Dos, azul. Cinco, rojo. Cinco, rojo. Cuatro, amarillo. Cuatro, amarillo. All right, very good. Hoja de ejercicios 12. Worksheet 12. Right? So, um, by the way, you can download this worksheet from this website. It's my site, right? You just type in Eddie Sovenis in Google. You'll find me, right? And then um, it's under my Spanish page, right? Sites.google.com slash site slash Sovenis Music slash Spanish, right? You can download this worksheet if you want to. I want you just to translate a few things, right? Verde, what's that? Do you remember? Rojo, right? You can write English or Chinese, either way is fine here. Azul, and then here you have to translate to Spanish. So write the Spanish for huang se, bai se, hei se, okay? And down here, in the second part, I want you to write ser or estar, right? Remember the two B verbs. Remember, Spanish has two B verbs, right? Ser y estar. So you have to use either ser or estar here. And remember, 动词变化, 动词变化. So um, I'll give you number one, right? Yo conga de Taiwan. Right, ser or estar. So I conga de Taiwan. Ser or estar. It's asking I sum up from Taiwan. Yo soy de Taiwan. There were they. Right, so you know you use ser, right? It's the more permanent form of um, to be, right, in English. And you need to change it from 
ser to soy, right? Yo soy de Taiwan, right? 动词变化，记得吗？哈，在呃这个短片前面，我们有复习 el verbo ser, right? Ser 动词变化。Okay, so do that with all six of these questions, and then at the bottom. You have to write the numbers out, okay? So this is easy, right? So eight is ocho, right? Ocho, O C H O. If you forgot,、uh, you can look in the video, right? I give you a list, or you can look online, right?、Uh, you'll find an, an easy list from one to ten, right? All these numbers, but、right? please write them out. They're not in order, right? Let's do one more together over here. It says ser o estar. El, conga and casa. El, conga and casa. So at home. So he at home. 少了一个 be 动词，对不对？所以要用 ser o estar. Remember, we always use estar when we're talking about location, right? 在什么地方哈？用 estar. Okay. So please download this worksheet and complete it on your own, or if you don't mind working on your computer, you can just,、um, you know, write your answers on a separate piece of paper. That's fine too. Okay, let's look at some fruit. 生词，跟着念 El plátano, el plátano, el kiwi, el kiwi, la manzana, la manzana, la papaya, la papaya, el coco. El coco, la piña, la piña. So please practice saying these words.、So、let's say them again: manzanas, coco, plátano, papaya, piña, kiwi. Right. Please practice saying these words, and、uh, let's learn some more. Am I going too fast? <laughs> I think so. Please review the vocabulary words on the last slide, and let's say some more fruits. La sandía, la sandía, la naranja, la naranja, la uva, la uva, or las uvas. Usually, you eat many grapes, right? Not just one. I hope you can use verbs like gustar, comer, tener, and make some sentences. Right? Remember, gustar is to like or to be pleasing to. Comer is to eat, and tener is to have. So please use these fruits, and you can also use the fruits on the last slide, and make some sentences with these verbs. For example, yo como sandía. Yo como sandía. Right, I eat watermelon. Comes la naranja. Comes la naranja. You eat the orange.、Right. A ti te gustan las uvas? Do you like the grapes? A ti te gustan las uvas? Él tiene dos naranjas. Él tiene dos naranjas. He has two oranges, right? A ellos les gustan las uvas. A ellos les gustan las uvas, right? They like the grapes, or the grapes are pleasing to them. All right, this sentence grammar is a little bit different, so you have to be careful.、Huh? Nosotros 
comemos la sandía. Nosotros comemos la sandía. We eat the watermelon. Okay, so please uh, press pause. 先按暂停哈，再念一次这几句 ，and then make some sentences by yourself using these verbs. Gustar, comer, tener, right? To like or to be pleasing to, to eat and to have. Am I going too fast? <laughs> 速度会不会太快？有一点。好，对话二。Los colores. There are some new vocabulary words in this example. Let's read them first. Right. El sol. Cielo. El mar. Manzana. Favorito, árboles, árboles, limones, limones, corazón, corazón, practicar, practicar. All right, one more time. El sol, el cielo, el mar, la manzana. Favorito, árboles, limones, corazón, practicar. So please read this dialogue first, right? It's between a mother and her son, and then we'll listen to it, right? So you can see the sentences are getting longer, right? It should be a little bit difficult. I'll just read a couple of sentences to you before we start, right? So mother says, mi amor. Vamos a practicar los colores, right? We are going to practice the colors. Sí, el naranja es mi favorito. Orange is my favorite color. ¿Qué color es el cielo? Right, what color is the sky? Es azul. Remember, es is from ser, right? Es azul, como el mar. It is blue like the ocean. Bien, y estos bananos? Or you can say platanos, right? Bananos is another word for bananas. Amarillos, como el sol, right? Yellow like the sun. Right? Y estos limones? Y estos limones, right? And these lemons, how we haven't learned this, that, these, those yet in Spanish, right? We'll learn that soon, maybe next week. Verdes como los árboles, right? Green like the trees. All right, and I think you understand the nature of this dialogue. So uh, I want you to listen to this dialogue one time and practice saying it. If you have a partner, Ah, you can call a phone number, huh? Use line, huh? Don't pay cash, huh? Use line with your classmate, huh? Practice this conversation. One is the mother, one is the son, huh? Then after the conversation, you can switch roles, right? Switch roles. Okay. By the way, there are some good vocabulary words in this dialogue. Let's listen to it. Mi amor. Vamos a practicar los colores. Sí, el naranja es mi favorito. ¿Qué color es el cielo? Es azul como el mar. Bien. ¿Y estos bananos? Amarillos como el sol. ¿Y estos limones? Verdes como los árboles. Bien hecho. ¿Y esta manzana? Roja, como tu lindo corazón. Okay, very well. So, let's look at some example sentences for the verb comer. ¿Tao? Gansanian. Yo como todos los días. 
right? I eat every day. Todos los días is every day, right? Me tien, me tien. Que comes, right? What do you eat, right? Que comes? El come pizza, right? He eats pizza. Nosotros comemos pizza, right? We eat pizza. Ellos no comen fruta, right? They don't eat fruit. Okay, so you can see the verb conjugations are at the top here. There are a couple of new words. And let's say these sentences one more time. I'll just read them to you. Uh, you can pause the recording if you want to repeat after me. Yo como todos los días. ¿Qué comes? Él come pizza. Nosotros comemos pizza. Ellos no comen fruta. All right, so remember, uh, yo como todos los días is I eat every day, right? Todos los días is every day. Okay, sorry, I forgot to give that to you. <laughs> All right, very good. So if this is difficult for you, please press pause and review the verb comer before going on. Right, 看不太懂,听不太懂的话,先按暂停,多复习,这几张投影片。了解后,再继续往下看。All right, so this is some more review for el verbo tomar. El verbo tomar. 好,跟着念。Yo tomo. Tu tomas. Él o ella toma. Nosotros tomamos. Ellos o ellas toman. Tomar, it means to take or to drink, right? So we can use this for like to take the bus, right? Or take the train or what else? To take some food <laughs> or take anything. Let's look at some examples. Yo tomo el autobús. Right? I take the bus. Yo tomo el autobús. Tomas café? Tomas café? Do you drink coffee? Right? Tomas café? Ella no toma alcohol. She doesn't drink alcohol. Ella no toma alcohol. Nosotros tomamos el tren. We take the train. Nosotros tomamos el tren. Ellos toman café juntos. Right? They drink coffee together. Right? Ellos toman café juntos. Right? Together. Juntos. Okay? So, please practice saying these verbs. Uh, maybe you can copy down one or two sentences that you think might be useful. Like if you want to ask your friend, Tomas café? Do you drink coffee? Right, maybe that's useful. Okay, so um, yeah, please practice writing and saying some of these sentences. You don't have to memorize all of them, right? uh, but if you can memorize, you know, two or three, that would be great. Okay, another useful phrase in Spanish is donde esta? Donde esta? So you can say something like, donde esta mi lapis? Donde esta mi lapis? Right, where's my pen? <laughs> pencil, sorry, where's my pencil? Donde esta el baño? Donde esta el baño? Donde esta mi hermano? Donde esta mi hermano? Donde esta la clase? Donde esta la clase? Donde esta la clase de español? Donde esta la clase de español? Where's the Spanish class? Uh, please practice saying these phrases. Donde esta? All right, and just for extra practice, continuen. Enero, febrero, marzo, abril, mayo, junio, julio, agosto, septiembre, 
octubre, noviembre, diciembre. Okay, that was a review. <laughs> okay, uh, one more dialogue. 最后一个对话哈。Huh? 今天很多对话。Dialogo tres, 对话三。Right, so they're talking about meeting for the first time, right? Two people, Berta y Franz. Berta y Franz. Right, two people meeting for the first time. Right. Uh, by the way, there is some vocabulary, new vocabulary in this dialogue. Let's say it one time together. Aleman. German, right? De Goren. By the way, if it's a woman, you say Alemana. Right, you have to add an A at the end, alemana. But if it's a man, you say aleman. Verdad. Verdad. Hamburgo. Hamburgo. Right, that's a city in Germany. Familia. Familia. Frankfurt. Frankfurt. It's another city in Germany, right? The go the moga chang shirt, huh? Cathedral. Cathedral. Right? All right, so practice saying those vocabulary words. Um, you should at least know familia and verdad, right? And I think you know some of these words like hola, mi nombre. Es Franz, right? My name is Franz. Tu eres Berta, right? Are you Berta? Right, remember, nombre is name, okay? Si, soy Berta. Eres Franz Dinter? Yes, I am Berta. Are you Franz Dinter? Si, soy yo. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> tu eres Alemana, verdad? Right, you are German, correct? Si. Soy alemana. Tú también eres alemán, ¿no? No. Yo soy francés. Right, no, I am French. Pero mi nombre es alemán. Right, but my name is German. Right, so he's a French guy with a German name. <laughs> okay. ¿De dónde es tu familia? Remember, de donde is where, right? From where is your family? Where is your family from? Ellos son de Hamburgo. Hamburgo. De donde es tu familia? Right? Where is your family from? Todos somos de Frankfurt. Right? We are from Frankfurt. Okay, so remember, that's a city in Germany. Bueno, entremos... A la catedral. Okay, remember in Germany and all over Europe, there are very beautiful churches all over the country, all over Europe actually. So if you go to Europe someday, I'm sure you will see some beautiful cathedrals. Hola, mi nombre es Franz. ¿Tú eres Berta? Sí, soy Berta. ¿Eres Franz Dinter? Sí, soy yo. Tú eres alemana, ¿verdad? Sí, soy alemana. Tú también eres alemán, ¿no? No, yo soy francés. Pero mi nombre es alemán. ¿De dónde es tu familia? Ellos son de Hamburgo. ¿De dónde es tu familia? Todos somos de Frankfurt. Bueno, entremos a la catedral. If you're not done reading the dialogue or if you don't understand it, please press pause or stop the recording and listen to it again until it becomes more clear. Try to understand most of the dialogue, then we can go on, okay? Okay, very good. Say <laughs> ho. I want to listen to a song called Araye 
by La Banda, right? That's the name of the group, La Banda. And the song is Araye. This song is in the style of a wawanko. Wawanko, it's a kind of Latin dance, kind of a rumba, maybe from Cuba. And this song has lots of percussion, right? Da ji yue chi. Okay? And um, the lyrics are very easy, right? Gutsan. He just says um Guawanko. Tienes tu melodia, right? You have a melody. Si por cantar, tengo que morir, right? Uh, if for singing I had to die. Right? Then he says something like, Estoy cantando para sobrevivir. Right? I'm singing to survive. <laughs> okay? Cante mi wawanko. Right? So sing my wawanko. <laughs> okay? It's kind of strange lyrics. Uh, also, he says the words cubano in this song. That means gubaren or gubada and africano. Right? Feijoren. Actually, when they say Africano in Cuba, I think they mean um, like Fei Gubaren, huh? Okay. So uh, let's listen to this song. I hope you like it.
Oh, 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 oh,